Hi, in this video we'll learn how to multiply the complex numbers. And we're going to multiply these complex numbers just like how we multiply the two binomials using the FOIL method. Now before we start multiplying, one thing to keep in mind is we're going to treat the imaginary number i just like how we treat the variable x and y. Definitely it's not the variable, but we're going to treat it just like how we treat the variables x and y. So let's start multiplying now. First of all, I'm going to multiply 2 with 3. And then I'm going to multiply 2 with negative 5i. So 2 times 3 gives me 6. And 2 times negative 5i gives me negative 10i. Now we're going to multiply positive 7i with 3. And then we're going to multiply positive 7i with negative 5i. So 7i times 3 will be equal to positive 21i. And then positive 7i times negative 5i will be equal to negative 35i squared. Now notice that the middle two terms are the like terms, negative 10i and positive 21i. So I can combine these two like terms. So let's do that. 6, then negative 10i plus 21i will give me positive 11i. And then we're going to write negative 35i squared as it is. Now we're going to simplify this a little bit. So we know that i, imaginary number i, is equal to square root of negative 1. If I take the square root of both the sides, then we'll get i squared on the left hand side, and on the right hand side, square root of negative 1 squared will be equal to negative 1, because the square and the square root will cancel out each other, and we are only left with negative 1 on the right hand side. So we know that the value of i squared is equal to negative 1. And I'm going to replace this i squared with negative 1. So let's do that. 6 plus 11i minus 35 in place of i squared. I'll plug in negative 1. And I'll put that inside the parentheses. Now this will be 6 plus 11i. Negative 35 times negative 1 will be equal to positive 35. Again, we have the like terms 6 and 35. We're going to combine these two terms. 6 plus 35 will give me 41. So I got 41 plus 11i. So my answer is 41 plus 11i. Now, when you write your final product, the final product should be in the form of a plus or minus bi. This is the general form of complex numbers, and your final answer should be in the form of a plus and minus bi, where a is the real part and bi is the imaginary part. So when you write your final product, make sure that you have the real part first. So 41 is my real part, and then 11i is my imaginary part. So you have to make sure that you put the real part first and then the imaginary part. So I hope you feel comfortable in multiplying complex numbers now. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.